Hey, the law is constantly changing. That's why we do these video blogs every week to keep you appraised as to how the law changes, how the law can affect you. Well, we want to go back to a case we did a couple of months ago, which has now gone up to the New Jersey Supreme Court. In the appellate process, a case isn't final until it's finally decided by the last court of resort, the last place someone can go to have a case decided. All right, what was this case? Important case involves the internet. Situation where a nephew and an uncle had a significant falling out. Nephew set up a website that basically said uncle had abused him as a child. Uncle said no such thing happened and as a result of various other proceedings in which it was proven nothing had happened. Uncle, who is now really ticked off, said, I'm bringing suit against nephew for defamation. Well, defamation, of course, is when you say something untrue about someone that defames them, that lessens their standing in the community, that causes them to lose money in their profession, or in some other way causes them damages. In the underlying case, which we talked about some months ago, the uncle brought the suit, and the nephew said, hey, you don't have a suit here, uncle, because you didn't suffer any actual damages. You didn't suffer any real measurable harm. You didn't lose any money in your profession. You, we don't have uh, instances in which people are no longer associating with you. You don't have any real damages. Uncle said, look, this is bad news. Just the very fact that you said this is causing me all kinds of upset. Well, at the trial court level, the trial court said, uncle, you're right. You do have a case, even though there are no actual damages. Well, it went forward and was recently decided by the New Jersey Supreme Court. And there, the New Jersey Supreme Court heard the arguments again and came away in favor of the uncle. In favor of the uncle saying that when someone goes to the Internet and they defame someone else, that person who is defamed has a cause of action against them and can sue them and can get an award from a jury that votes in their favor for money. Well, this is an important case, one of the few cases that actually involves defamation on the internet. It shows the way in which at least one state is approaching this. And the way New Jersey is now approaching it, which we know for sure, because it's gone as far as it can go, is that if someone makes untrue statements on the internet, that can diminish somebody else's reputation, even though that other person doesn't have actual damages, even though they can't show they've lost any money in their profession, trade, or in their job or business or whatever else, they still have a cause of action against the person who did what they did, and they can go to court, and if a jury votes in favor of awarding them money for the kind of hassles they've been through, well, that award stands up. Okay, bring you this case as we bring you cases every week so you understand how the law is evolving, how the law works. I'm David Allen.